estar feliz como una lombriz. Estar feliz como una lombriz. 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 Well, <laughs> this means the literal translation is to be happy as a worm. To be happy as a worm. Yum. <laughs> I mean, not yum. Why, why did I say yum? I'm just, uh, lombriz means warm. And it's just, I don't know, I'm afraid of worms. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like seeing worms. I respect them, but I don't like seeing worms. Uh, lombriz, that's what it means, warm. Uh, estar, you need to know the conjugation of the verb estar. Again, it means to be, estar. Feliz means happy. Estoy feliz, I'm happy. Estás feliz, you're happy. Okay, so this is a great adjective to learn, feliz. And it doesn't have a feminine or masculine, doesn't have a grammatical gender. So I like that. I like that. It's easy to use and remember. It has a plural form, felices. Okay, with a C and E and S. Felices. Okay, but uh, that means happy, plural. Las personas felices happy people, <laughs> right? Um, but yeah, in this case, estar feliz, to be happy, como means how, and also as, okay? Like this one. Una, a, lombriz, warm. La lombriz, by the way, uh, that's why we're saying una, because lombriz is feminine, una lombriz, a worm, la lombriz, the worm, okay? So just remember that. Now, what's the actual meaning of this phrase? The meaning is to be very happy. <laughs> That's what it is. So when you're really, really happy, you can use this. I don't know if worms are happy. I hope they are. But uh, for some reason, <laughs> this phrase exists in Spanish. And it refers to someone who is really happy. Because you got good news, you know, like you you heard some good news. So that's, that's good. You're happy or, or um, I don't know, you won the lottery. You're very happy. Um, you got a new job. You're very happy, right? So that's how you would use this phrase in those situations where you're really happy because of something. Okay, for example, I can say, Hoy me dieron buenas noticias. Hoy me dieron buenas noticias. What does that mean? Hoy me dieron buenas noticias. Estoy feliz como una lombriz. <laughs> Hoy me dieron buenas noticias. Estoy feliz como una lombriz. Okay, so this means I've got good news today, hoy today. I'm so happy. So that's what it means. So let's break it down. When you say hoy, that means today. So you can have hoy at the beginning of a sentence or at the end of a sentence. So you can say me dieron buenas noticias hoy or hoy me dieron buenas noticias. Both are correct. Bo both forms are correct. Me dieron, dieron comes from the verb dar. So technically you're saying today they gave me buenas. Buenas means good and it's feminine and it's plural, 
Why? Because we have noticias, which is feminine and plural. Las noticias. Buenas noticias. Good news. Okay? So, today, they gave me good news. That's the literal translation. But it's similar to saying, I've got good news today. So, <laughs> that's good. Uh, estoy feliz. This, you know, this is uh, the conjugated form of estar. Estoy, yo estoy. Once again, technically, you could have yo here. Yo estoy feliz, but you don't need yo. You don't need, <laughs> you don't need yo in this situation. Estoy, I mean, if you want to say it, say it. Go for it, but you don't need it. <laughs> you don't need it. Estoy feliz, I'm happy or happy. If you say just that, estoy feliz, that means I am happy, okay? So you can say that by, by itself if you feel happy, if you want to say I'm happy. But uh, you can also say, estoy feliz como una lombriz. I'm so happy. <laughs> so this is a great, great phrase to learn if you want to sound <laughs> like a native Spanish speaker. I, you know, why to say I'm happy when you can say I'm happy as a worm, <laughs> right? It sounds more, it has more substance for sure. So yeah, you can, you can use that phrase to say that you're really happy, that you're really, really happy. Mm -hmm.